Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. In this video, I will show you how I usually create a vintage look on my photo. So, I'm using this photo that I found on Unsplash as an example. It was shot by Jack Dong. I'll put the link to download this photo in the description. So just click on the link. Okay, so when I look at this photo, it already has that vintage vibe so it helps if the photo you're editing vintage uh, kind of look vintage already we just need to bring out the vintage okay so without any further ado let's go to finish photo and get started so i will import this photo and then go to developer persona So first, let's adjust the white balance. I will make this photo warmer. And then the saturate this photo. Uh, bring it down around 20 and the vibrance as well. Then bring down the shadow contrast and clarity as well. Bring up the black point just a little and then adjust the noise reduction and lastly go to tons and adjust the curve I'll make this photo flatten As you can see, it already has that vintage pipe. Okay, this is before and after. After you have done, click develop. So basically, it's done, but you can add texture to make it more vintage. First, I will use this texture by Paper Farms that I got. I will add a snow. This texture is very useful. I love it. And then change the blend mode to overlay. Okay. So it looks like it's no over there. And then I will add this texture that I download from Asplash. I will also put the link in the description so you can download it as well. Then go to develop persona. I will adjust it. Bring up the black point so we can see the texture and the clarity as well. And then bring down the shadow okay now we can see the texture more clearly and copy it then align it then change the blend mode to multiply okay now it looks more vintage if the texture is too much you can bring down the opacity to run 80 okay let's use another texture this one is also from Asplas
So I'll bring up the black point and the clarity so we can see the texture. And then bring down the shadow. Then copy it here. Change the blend mode to multiply. You can bring down the opacity or you can use curve adjustment. Just drag it inside the texture and make it brighter. Yeah, so this is the final result. So that was how I create a vintage look on my photo. And if you want, you can also create your own texture. Okay, you can grab a paper and then trample it and then set it. Or you can set a photo of a wall or a wood and then use it as a texture. If you don't find one that you like online, you can create your own texture. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video. Hit the like button if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video.